Hey guys, what's up? I'm not traveling anymore and that's why you can see the uh, that I'm back at my home studio. All right, so in today's video, we are uh, going to be building a program that extracts links from another website. So all you have to do is go to Akhil Sharma 90 in the repositories, there's just extract links. Uh, make sure you clone this and you can also star this uh, so that I know that you guys are following along with me. And also, it'll be very easy for you to uh, find this project in the future. Okay, start to start this. And this is the project that we're building today. All right. So having said that, I'll just uh, zoom out of this and I will uh, now create a new project. Uh, extract. I'll, I'll just call it links. Extract YT for YouTube and I will. Sorry, cargo new links extract whitey and you'll cd into it you'll say cd links and i will open it up in my code editor just vs code i think steam is a little distracting in the background okay so we are in our uh, vs code now so here are the dependencies that i need the usual ones we have our error chain which will help us to handle errors work with errors then since uh, to get the request to uh, to get all the data from that from a page and then extract all the links from that page we'll have to make a request right and till now we have been using request the request -E request package to do that create sorry not package create to do that so I'm using a particular version called 0.11.12 and then I will be using Tokyo. So uh, by the way, this video is a part of um, 50 Rust project series playlist. It's a playlist on my YouTube channel. So in case you don't know about that, go to my channel playlist, check out the Rust 50 project playlist. And this video is one of those. So we are building up our knowledge in a sequential manner. And now we have reached a place where we know how to work with errors. We know how to work with requests, how to make these requests, and we know how to make async requests using Tokyo. So we're just going to use uh, a particular version of Tokyo and we want all the features. So we'll say features full in case you don't want to type all of this stuff, make you can just copy it from GitHub. Okay. Everything is there on GitHub. All right. So close this down now. Open up your main.rs. So this this project, this uh, program is very small. Uh, there's no rocket science that's going to happen here. It's a very, very small project, but I just want to show you something important here. Okay, so firstly, the usual stuff, get your error chain. Now the, yeah, so there's one thing that I want to show you right today, which uh, I like this program is small and it just builds up, uh, you know, uh, it builds up on, on the previous knowledge that you've gained till now with all the projects that, that you've built with me. So the, the new thing that we're doing here, the new thing, which is kind of important, is using this select crate. Okay, this is what's going to help you to select those exact parts, those exact, exact things from the page. Like, for example, we know that links on a page are A tags, right? A, and they have href also. So we, we want to check for A and href. To do that, we'll be using the select crate. And uh, why I want to focus so much on this and why I, I want your attention here is because uh, you'll be using this a lot when you create any scrapers in the future, you'll be using this quite a bit. Okay, so going back to your main. So here we'll say select document document and with the help of this, this is like a document selector. You can select particular things on, on a page and you select then predicate and name okay so now the usual stuff we'll build the error chain here we'll have foreign links this is the exact same code from the previous video actually okay some things are maybe different but mostly we're doing the same thing so we're going to um, use this for the request errors and the standard io errors Here the E is capital and then the IO 
Uh, so two types of errors we are handling. All right. So this is sorted. Now comes the part where you make an async request. To do that, you need Tokyo main and you make an async request. So we've already learned in one of the videos before how to make an async request. You say async and fn, which is function main. We use result for error handling. Okay. To get the response, you will use your request package and you'll make a request. You'll make a get request to uh, the actually the Rust website itself. So I'll copy the link for the Rust website on the browser that I have opened and uh, make sure you get this URL correct because if the URL is not correct, like one of the links is here or there, um, you might get an error. So, so I've copied it from the browser. I mean, you can't see it because it's, it's on my other screen. So I've copied it exactly from the browser. I'm putting it here. Make sure you do the same. I mean, don't... Uh, you, because by mistake you might miss this dash here or this slash here and then it, it you know the program won't work and we all know how to make async await requests by now okay now comes the most important part which we have been waiting for so this document thing that we have been talking about till now we'll use it now so document from response this is your response as string s is small not capital and here comes the part where i was telling you that you have to look for a tags then we'll filter map with href dot for each and whatever we have now we want to print all of that stuff so for x that we now have uh, we will print that particular link all the links we want to print all the links right so we will say print the link you know how to print it you have to pass this uh, almost like a template literal that you may have learned in javascript right very similar syntax to that and then you say okay empty okay everything went well so with result you can get an okay or an error and here everything went well so we'll put an okay out here at the end so i'll go through it again it's an async request uh, async function in the in an async function basically you can make await uh, you, you can have await right so this is very similar syntax to your, what you might have seen in javascript you have async await there you have async await in rust as well and you use tokyo main to do that then you uh, use the request package. So always to make any request, we have been using request package till now. So there's no change there. We'll make a get request to this particular URL, await for text, await the document that you get from the response as string. You find particular uh, a tags with the help of predicate name and document, right? Document, and then um, you get for uh, you get those attributes href, and then for each of those you will print uh, that particular link, right? So href basically is a link. And so you'll, you'll print those exact links uh, in the terminal. So what we'll do now is we'll simply go ahead and run this program. So uh, we might get some errors. Not That's not a problem. I've shown you before with Rust, you don't have to be like, you don't have to be worried about issues and errors. They're very, very simple to solve. So it'll take a while to build. Even though my internet connection is really fast now and I'm back, uh, I'm not traveling anymore. It still takes a while to build. So I'll take a couple, take a minute's break. I'll come back in a minute's time. Now, uh, you will see in the uh, terminal that the program has stopped running. It took a while to compile, actually. It took a while to run. It took like one minute, 24 seconds, maybe more than that, I think. So. Uh, what you should be seeing in your terminal are these links that we have extracted right so this is how this is how scrapers work 
it's quite possible that you've done my Golang uh, scraper projects as well, where we run these scrapers which scrape uh, every single link from a website, uh, from, a, from a web page. And then you have another scraper uh, that goes and hits each of these links and then extracts more links from each of these pages. That's how you traverse an entire website. So this is just, today what we did was just the first stage where we just went to a web page and just extracted all the links. That's it. So I hope you like this program. And in case you have any issues and doubts and problems, feel free to compare the code with the code on GitHub. Um, and you will you will get it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a very small program, right? It's uh, barely, like barely, I think, 20 lines, give or take. If you remove all the spaces, just 20 lines code, nothing much is happening. This you already know, this you already know. Only this part is new, right? So this part is something that uh, you might have problems with. Make sure you get this correct. So in the next program, we'll build on this knowledge even further. We'll do something uh, nicer. And in some time, uh, in, in, in a couple of videos, just a couple of videos more, and then we'll be working with databases. We'll be working with SQLite, MySQL, Redis, Postgres, MongoDB, all the good stuff that you've been waiting for. And then after that, from video 20, 20 after 20 onwards, we'll be working with Actex Web and Rocket and Diesel and all of those different things like CORM, all of those things we'll work with. So there's a lot of knowledge coming your way, guys. Uh, what what my agenda is to uh, is to you know make you a really good Rust developer so that you can use it in production, and also you can build on Solana and Substrate and those kind of uh, you know such so the Solana block blockchain or build your own blockchain using Substrate. That's my agenda. I want to take you there. To take you there, it's a long journey. We have to build upon our knowledge. Uh, you don't get there in just one go. All right, so I hope you like this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already and consider joining this channel because you get some nice perks if you join this channel. All right, thank you. I'll see you in the next video.